The axis of the front unit consists of several components. They are a combination of castings, tuned parts and semi-finished products. The counterweight development shown at the end of the previous video axle and wheels has brought a significant improvement in the 3D printing and castings, which is also visible in a simplification of post-processing. The part is clamped centrally with a cone. The central hole is round to 5 mm. The axle of the coupling rod are given a 2 mm center hole and a 1.6 hole for a M2 thread on the back. An exactly fitting centering pin helps me to position the counterweight in the right position. They can now simply be clamped and tuned to size. The counterweights that carry the axle for the connecting rod receive only the centering hole. In order to be able to process them further, they also get the centering at the outer end of the axle. Now, the axis of the connecting road can be made to measure. The square-headed part of the axle and the square hole in the crank still must be fitted properly. It requires some patience to get the most accurate fit.
Now, one side of the axle can be connected to the counterweight. Despite the exit fit, they are soldered. For the 90 degree position of the weights, I helped myself again with 3D printing. This positioning aids in combination with a prism are a perfect tool for accurately positioning the holes. After installation, splints with a perfect fit will ensure the 90 degree positioning. So long!